Well, it's still day 54. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In The Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives Arc Day by Day. And I promised I was going to get this episode up. It's been a day since I recorded that other video. Um, and I'm getting started on this already. I want to get this up as soon as possible. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. I need to get some polymer going so that I can um, make some cryopods and a cryo fridge. I gotta get all that crystal. Oh, I've got some polymer here. Good. Pull the electronics too. You know, I've got all those silica pearls. I've already made a. Uh, I've already made a uteranus saddle. I can always go get some more pearls if I need more. I'm just gonna pull for maximum electronics. And we'll just make 166 more electronics. And then I am going to pull the metal in here as well. And we are going to make ourselves a cryo fridge and as many cryopods as I can get. Okay, so in order to get everything to fit and be carried, I had to use two Argents, and one of them is Carrier Pigeon, who's got significantly more weight and um, is still struggling to carry what he is carrying. So, this is a lot of materials. Let's make us up some cryopods. Well, I certainly hope that's enough cryopods. <laughs> I'm going to need to grind more metal. So we have more than enough cryopods now. We got like 49 cryopods, plus the ones we've already made. So that's more than enough to handle the boss army. I want to set up a feeding trough at Green Ob. And I need to start leveling those creatures. I still have one more cave to run. Might take another look for a Baryonyx yet, but if I can't find one... We might be looking at breeding up a Thylacolio for the cave. You know, I said there are all three Gamma bosses before day 100. If I'm being honest, I don't think that's a stretch at all. Gamma and even Beta of all three bosses I don't think is outside of the realm of possibility before day 100. If I really push, I might be able to get some Alpha stuff done. Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, I have all this cementing paste. When I make these Megatherium saddles, I am no longer going to have a ton of cementing paste. It takes a lot of paste. Okay, that's all the meat in the house. So, we'll just let that go. We'll see how these guys get along. It looks like several of them are full up. Others are still eating. Of course, the Deodon's going to need to eat for a while. That up, get some more food. So many pegos. Wait, a beaver dam? Huh, they spawn over here. Okay, we are there. Okay. So now, as you can tell, you cannot get a Thyla into this cave right here. It's almost big enough, but it's not quite there. See? Can't quite get through. So, you can take a Baryonyx in, I'm pretty sure. You could try and do it on foot, but what I've decided I want to do, at least for now, until I get a Baryonyx... ...is mate the pair of Thylas and leave a baby in the cave. Are we on day 55? I think this is day 55. I can't tell by my uh, heads-up display. Uh, when you mess with the night and day slider to take pictures, I always try to set it back to where I had it, but it rapidly cycles through days when you... I keep track in video editing, so... Alright, and... 
two minutes gestation is not bad. We'll stick it out through gestation. Okay, let me put all this stuff. Don't need berries. Keep the bolas. Trial fridge. Keep that on me. Gonna need my armor. Okay, well, uh, you're not getting that. So I am concerned that I will lose this thing if I leave the cave. Because here's what normally happens. I will go into a cave and leave a bird on the outside of the cave or something. Go run the cave, and when I come out, the bird's underground. I'll leave something in a cave, and I'll be coming back to get what's in the cave. And when I walk back in the cave, as soon as it loads in, that creature glitches through the mesh. And so stuff that's outside the cave when I'm coming out falls through the mesh. Stuff that's inside the cave, if I'm coming back in, falls through the mesh. Trying to create a system where that's not gonna happen. Um, my original frog, it actually didn't die to lava. It fell through the mesh, and it's sitting down there somewhere in a place where I tried to fly and get to it, and Ark said, no, you can't fly there, and snapped me back, uh, teleported me back above the mesh. So, uh, I, well, it's probably starved to death by now, maybe, but, uh, yeah, technically it, it never died. Oh, speaking of, uh, Beelzebufo, that's the original right there. It finally died. All right, come at me. This is going to take a while because after each group, I'm going to have to force feed it to heal it up because it grew so fast. I think it took about 10 minutes. Ooh, journeyman treasure cache map. I don't want to say that. Alright, well if that last group of dillos was anything to go by, this cave will also be very overspawned. So this should be interesting, if nothing else. Hopefully not overspawned with Onyx. Okay, I gotta be careful about what path I take here. This is not a path. I'd rather not make that one jump. I feel like I'm missing... This is the way I always go down here. I feel like I'm missing a turn or something. I think I'm just going to have to make that jump. I just... Look at all the bats, man. Did I seriously not get rabies from that? Oh yeah, watch this guy give me rabies. Nope. Still good. You know, it's occurred to me, when I do hard snow cave, that's gonna be an absolute nightmare. Okay, some dillos there. A bat on the platform. Nothing there. That's where I want to go.
Ow. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Now I just got to make it out of here. Yellow cave drop. Do I need an Ascendant Slingshot? Here's where my last run died. Boom. Was it there? Or was it up here? I think it was right here, actually. <laughs> Just break this crystal, and what I'm going to do is park this Thyla as close to the mouth of the cave as I possibly can, and hopefully it'll be loaded into the overworld instead of being stuck loaded in the cave, so that should make it safe. Leave it with all the meat and stuff that it's gathered. Oh. Okay. Thank you for your service. So, did the Thyla thing work? Eh, uh, kinda. Kinda, kinda not. I don't know how to keep areas like the cave loaded. I don't think I can. So, you know, <sighs> hey, it's at least something. Maybe we can take Massive Thylo with us into the ice cave when we do the ice cave. All right, let's go pick up some metal and head home. All right, am I still recording? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's put this uh, away. I still have my shovel. So let's go get this treasure map. 1,500 meters this direction. It's going to be in the Redwoods again. And then while I'm out, I can also see what the crafting requirements are for the Beta Broodmother. Because if Gamma goes well, I'm doing Beta right away. I need the elements. I have never achieved tech tier, and we are going to change that. 
Where is it? 1100 meters this direction. Bang. Thumbnail. Clouds in this game can look real nice sometimes. All right, requirements. Here we go. So, because it's single player, a single player world, and not on a server, I have to go to the obelisks, each individual obelisk, in order to run the bosses. Here we are at the green obelisk. I can only fight the broodmother here. Oh, uh, I got rid of my platform already. Okay, Gamma is just the artifacts. That's not going to be a problem. The Beta... Argent Talons... Sarco Skins, Boa Venom, Sauropod Vertebra. I think I have five of each of those. Screenshot that so I don't have to come back and look for it again. And then the Alpha is going to be ten. Yeah, yeah okay, ten of each of those. Spino? I think that was a Spino. <sighs> Honestly, if I'm going to run that artifact cave again, I should look for a Baryonyx if I can get one. I'm going to have plenty of time to kill between uh, raising all of those Megatheriums up. Diplo Saddle. Ascendant Ichthy Saddle. Oh. This is how I get in the water. This is it right here. If I can get a decent level Ichthy. This is it. This is my ticket. I can make that. Heck, I could probably make it now. Uh, well, I'd have to run more metal yet, but still. I mean, let's be honest. It's an Ichthyosaurus saddle. It's not exactly like it's game-breaking, but that is exactly the kind of armor I'm going to need if I'm going to get out into the water. Because I need to fire from the back of something. Oh, man, if I had a better crossbow. Man, I wish I had a better crossbow. I've killed several alphas, too. Only green crossbow. Did I lose a higher level crossbow earlier in the series? I don't think I did. I mean, I'd like to just use my um, dart gun. And if I can get a higher caliber harpoon launcher, I will use the harpoons. But crossbows just kind of all around utility. And I need something. Ramshackles just... Not really cutting it anymore, you know? Now, honestly, I should just stop carrying that pistol around with me. It's worthless at this point. I am grinding hide. Six, nine. Nine of 17, 18. Nine of 18. All right. Okay, I thought you already made your character. What are you doing? Um, I tried to reset as I messed up the combine. It doesn't save before the combine. Oh yeah, extinction has been announced for December 16th. That's great. By the time December 16th comes out, I might be almost finished with Scorched Earth, maybe. <laughs> Ooh. I'm an art player. Allegedly. So I need more hide, and I need to start grinding levels on the Megatherium, which is going to give me hide, so I might as well get started on that. I only have 17 creatures counted. Did some die? Some might have died. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I should get those eggs going. I'll leave the door open.
it's not going to make a difference. All right, eggs time. If I remember right, it's 20 minutes between eggs. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen eggs. Not bad. And we have 15 minutes until next mate. Okay, and you are disabled. 15 minutes. So now, we go. We grab one. Apprentice Megatherium Saddle. We come down. We uncryo. One. Megatherium. Do we have boss one? Boss one is in the house. Literally. And saddle. He's already got eight levels. This is pretty good. Now. We toss the eggs out. Two minutes. So I picked up one regular egg. And he has 45 levels. You have a hide? You do not have hide. You just got all this raw meat. Well, can you fit out these gates? So I'm going to go ahead and park it over here, fill the trough up with meat, and let him heal. And we've got nine minutes until next mate. Fifteen over here. So now, fifteen minutes. And I have a level myself. I am going to gain so many levels. Where? Oh, Ascendant Treasure Map. There's a good thing to do while we wait. I might go and see if I can... Obviously, I'm going to go see if I can find a Baryonyx. I need to harvest some more hide. And I need to make sure... That um, I have all the saddles made. I might see if I can go and tame a uh, like a Bronto or something like that, so that I can get to around to taming a Rhyneognatha, because that's something I definitely want to do. This is probably close enough. Sunrise on the horizon, boots hit the ground. Every day I'm moving, making every moment. Alright, let's head home, make up some more eggs, and we should be good to go. Sweat on my brow. Ain't looking for no shortcuts, just getting it somehow. Rolling miles of highway, dreams there to fall. But I keep on driving, guided by the stars. Heart full of fire and Hands full of calluses, each step I'm taking Closer to the palaces, we're just chasing time Feeling fine, working through the grind Dreams on the line, with each hill we climb One day we'll shine, just a matter of time Oh, chasing time 
songs of the future play through my head every night on the front porch feeling what was said the melody of hard work it'll never steer wrong with a heart and a hope dragging me along i can see that horizon though it's distant still every inch i come fuels a burning will from dawn till dusk in the sweat of the sun i've got my eye on the prize every race needs a run rolling winds remind me of a long way to go but every single journey starts just so day by day step in the right direction each passing moment crave it perfection Dunkley Saddle. We're just chasing time, feeling fine, working through the grind. Dreams on the line. With each hill we climb, with each hill we climb, one day we'll shine. Just a matter of time. Oh, we're chasing time. Oh, we're chasing time. Rolling winds remind me of a long way. Journey starts just so day by day, step in the right direction. Each passing moment, craving perfection. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Barry Onyx on the team. Finally. And it's right next to home. Go figure. So I don't think Baryonics have an oxygen stat, do they? They do not. So even if I had knocked it out in the water, I could still tame it. That is probably going to come in handy at some point. One more level gets me shocking Trank Darts. And here is Boss 11. Okay, you can mate. I need one more baby. So from now on, when I go into that cave of the massive, I am taking a pistol or some other firearm, and I am taking grapples, like three or four grapples. And I am going to grapple over to the artifact, get the artifact, and then grapple back to whatever I'm writing. I am sick of jumping over pits and having stuff die in that stupid cave. You should be ready to go now. Yes. I am now level 96, which means... Shocking Trank Darts and Giga Saddles and Karkar Saddles. turnovers in five seconds.
right. That's a breeding pair of Rexes. And when when I get back, I should be ready to level up the next member of my boss army, so... We are looking at... having the second army up and ready to go in short order. Okay, I need to make a run for cementing paste. So here's a question. What does it take to make yellow kibble? I'm about to start a Rex farm. Focal chili, rare flowers. Actually, not bad at all. I can do that. Not a problem. Yeah, I, that's no problem. I start start doing that instead of cyan, unless I need the cyan. Which is going to be for gigas and thylas. About it. Everything else tames on yellow kibble or under. Mm -hmm. Your your therizinos for your uh, going to do fairies for your dragon army. Yeah. If there are Xeno should tame on yellow kibble, I would. I figured I'd go bog standard for my first time ever beating the boss. I don't want to get too crazy. This is for the Mega Pit. Uh, Theories for the dragon. Mega Theriums for the brood. Double females. Okay. Yeah, you're unconscious. Where are we at then? It's 16, so I need boss 17, boss 18, and medic. These aren't ready to mate for 10 minutes yet. Supposedly, it's right here. Aha! All right, now map pin it. I have never done this before, so this is going to be interesting. Well, that was very interesting. Okay, so I can't do that on this. Unless... That's a no. What am I supposed to do this cave on then? Just do it with a shotgun? Frog. Do it with a frog. Alright, 17.
So we're about to have six Rexes, and I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen UDs. Six Rexes, fifteen UDs. If I could get the Rexes to like ten, that'd probably be good enough. I'm gonna start saving my honey for the uh, sweet veggie cakes, and I need, probably should tame another bee. Oh, we gotta be getting close. 257. And there it is. General and Medic over there. 18 Megatheriums right here. Level 98 and going to fight a boss. What am I wearing? Pick that off. Put that on. I have it set to PvE mode, so I should be able to just uncryo everything and not have to worry about it. Boom. Get that generator down. And let's put the gas in. Get that cryo fridge up. Bed down. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. Finally, finally got it done. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> but thank you for watching this. And um, I am going to just go ahead and record the boss fight uh, as soon as I get done here. And I'm going to do live commentary for it. That will be in the next episode. So uh, you won't see it right away. But uh, hopefully I'll have that next episode up in a few days. So you don't have to wait too long for me to do that. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, tell me how I did, what else should I do, work on, any advice. Maybe I said something and I got something wrong, leave that down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can be notified when future episodes of this series and my other series go up. And with that being said, I'm in the game Kaya. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.